Hi everyone, welcome to Canvas Designs. Um, you can see how beautiful this purse look. So um, this is the purse um, that is that we're going to be making, right? And it's already made. So guys, my name is Odoa Kimi from Lagos, Nigeria. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to press the notification button to get notified whenever I drop a new video, guys. Thank you very much and God bless you, guys. So, um, so guys, this is our frame. So, um, if you measure the print from here to this place, is eight inches from here to this place. Is eight inches. Now, um, the, what we'll be doing, we're going to put a um, pleating. This is a double pleating, and this is a single pleating. So. Here is eight, uh, eight inches. So for us to get this uh, single pleating, now we're going to add, um, we're going to add four inches to it. We're going to add four inches. That is two, two inches here, two inches here. We'll make it four. Then this is a single um, pleating. So. Um, here again, we're going to have like uh, 1.5 inches here, the another 1.5 inches here. So by the time you calculate everything, the inches that we'll, we'll be making use of, so that will be 4 plus um, 1.5, then another 1.5. So that is going to be um, 7 inches. So now, what we're going to do is to, um, we're going to add our 7 inches to this 8 inches here. So, 7 plus 8 will give us a, a 15. So that will be 15 inches. So the measurement I'm, I'm going to be bringing out from here now, because this is a pattern, is going to be um, 15 inches. So. This is the 15 inches for the um, width. Then for the length of the frame, for the length of what I want, I'll be making use of um, I'll be making use of eight inches. So guys, don't forget that we will still have to stitch the side. So you need to put your allowance. So let me say I'm gonna be putting like um, plus two, two inches allowance. I want to put enough inches to it so that will be all together the width will be um, 17 inches so now what I'm going to measure out I'm going to be measure, measuring my 17 inches as width and the length will be 8 inches So this is one inch and this is one inch. Same thing with this. So now I'm just gonna put this out. So this is it. Now I'm just gonna cut it out. So first thing first is to match where the center is going to be. Notch the center. And also here, you need to notch the 
same sound. So this is the center here. So after notching the center, if you look at um, if you look at the plating, we have a double plating here. So what you will do now is you will take your um, you take this, you measure out two from the center. Two. inches you take this again you measure how two inches so when you measure how two inches just have to when you take from here to here now it's four inches So what you will do now is you take it from here, you pick it from here like this, so here too we have Two inches here. Two inches. So I'm just gonna take this like this. So guys, this is it. So I'm gonna me measure uh, two and a half from where the first plate started from. So this is two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. So now I'm going to be measuring four. So I will explain how I got this. So after my pleating, I need to leave some halal rounds. I need I need to leave some space before. So this is a uh, this is double um, pleating and this is single pleating. This is it here. So let me explain this again. This finger plating. So the measurement is like this. From here to this place is two. From here to this place is two inch inches. So you mark it. Then from your two inches, you have to take 1.5 inch out. 1.5 inches out. Two inches. 1.5 inches. So from there, you're going to fold from that 1.5 inches. You have to fold it to where you have your two inches. Then after that, you use your pin to hold it down. So guys, um, this is it here. So um, this is wording and this is my fabric here so um, I'm, I'm gonna be making um, the front part pleating you know so the back will be plain 
so this is the lining here so what i did basically with the measurements of the lining is i didn't really take measurements i just used um i just used this you know place it on my lining like this and then cut it out so if you can see it's the same length um you know it's the same length with it so guys um the next thing i'm gonna be doing right now is to stitch i'm just gonna be stitching um this okay firstly okay i think i'm just i'm just gonna be you know i will have to stitch like this i will stitch the bottom together like this so guys um i've used iron to press this place can you see it so this is it i've sewn it here so this is it so um the next thing i'm gonna be doing now is to so i'll just uh, bring out the shape of what i want and after bringing it out then i'm just gonna stitch it stitch it stitch the bottom together so guys uh, this here is a pattern of this ring here so um when you put this inside the frame, you will see that it's going to sit right in the frame. Okay, so just trying to push it in so you can understand what I'm saying. So this is it. So this is it here. This is how it's going to look like. So guys, now we're going to use this. Um, this is um, a leather board. So I'm going to use this now um, to bring out the shape of what I want. So I'm going to be using it to bring out the shape here. Don't forget, this is um, the bag we're working on. So this is it guys, so at this junction, um, we have to be very careful, So this is the shape. Now I'm just gonna use this to trim it out. guys now i'll be using this now to shape out this other one Guys, this is it. 
can't bring out the shape so so guys um one thing you should know that um one thing i want you to notice is that the measurements from here to this place this one to this place this to this place and this to this place must be equal it must be equal so mine is from here to this place is five and a half inches five and a half inches so that is what i'm using from here to this place so so guys this is the shape i've shaped it out so the next thing i'm just gonna be doing right now is i would have to stitch here then after stitching this place then i'm gonna put this like this and i will stitch also i will stitch the bottom side stitch here stitch the bottom side yep guys this is it this is it so what i'm going to do now just like um this i'm almost true with this Take this I'm almost through with it so this is the one I'm showing you guys so what I'm going to do now I'm true with this so now I'm just gonna make um, the inner lining this is a lining so what I'm just gonna be doing right now is I'm just um, gonna be stitching this together this is the bottom i'll stitch this together i'll stitch this also on this place and i'll also stitch this side together so guys this is the um uh, lining so this is it over here so guys what's I'm gonna be doing right now is firstly let me place it here so you can see what I'm talking about so this is it but before then so guys this is the lining so this is our um, curry board so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to apply my uh, gum on this curry board and on the line I'm not gonna apply gum on the line I'll just apply it on the curry board and then fold it so guys I've wrapped this already with um, I've wrapped it with gum so it's just gonna be placed like this place like this and I'm just gonna use this right here to wrap I'm just gonna wrap it like this rather so this is it just gonna wrap it So guys, this is it. So I'm just gonna repeat. I'm just gonna um, just do the same thing that I've done here. I'm just gonna you know repeat it here. So I'm still waiting for this to get dry very well. So after that, then I'm just gonna wrap it same way I did to this. Guys, I've wrapped it with um my leather board so 
the next thing i'm just gonna be doing right now is to put my lining inside this place inside the outer layer you know and after doing that then i'll just um and i'm just gonna stitch here together i'll have to stitch everything together then before i use my frame so guys right now what i'm doing is i'm applying gum to the tip of the of my bag round I'm applying them there round. So, what I'm going to be doing basically is I'll be folding this side, which is the side, I'll be folding them inside a bit. Then, also, the inner layer of my bag, I'm going to be placing it inside of this. Um, outer layer so it's going to be inside so um, the tip will be going to the tip of this outer layer before I use my um, machine to sew it together so that is what I'm doing right now so it's just um, a little bit gone then you know I'm gonna allow it to dry a bit so I'll allow it to dry before placing it so it doesn't um so the inner layer doesn't get stained so this is it i'll just leave it to dry a bit so guys i'm stitching it brown before um using my frame guys i'm true with the stitches so what i'm going to do now is to fix this my metal frame to it So you tuck it in
So this is the first one. So I'm just gonna tuck in this other one too. Hope you had a great time watching my video. So guys, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to press the notification button, like, share, and comment guys. Thank you very much and God bless you.